I was a kid in my bedroom Speaker to my ear Listening to some rap tunes The way you make me feel Ain't no word to express it If there was a war You would be my deadly weapon Killing with your words Popping with the beats And at the same time You can still bring peace It ain't nothing like it I wouldn't even fight it I got you in my heart Pumping life into my veins I can feel your pain And the good times The reason why you rhyme Bringing sight to the blind Every time I hear you Man I wanna be you Meet me halfway I know just how to treat you It's never gonna end You'll be here forever I love you like my mama It don't get no better Hip hop is a blessing We're leaving all my stress and if I was a teacher that was good to see you again don't forget like and subscribe press that bell button I'm gonna be fishing about 90 yards out using boily some corn um, and using the old rods again because as you know in the last video my rods broke so I've dug out the northwestern rods the northwestern kevlites two and three quarters and I'm gonna have to use them until I change the rods so that's what I'm gonna be doing Speaking of rods, I'm going to make my mind up what rods I want to get in the next couple of weeks because I'm currently dropped on to the older rods in North Westerns that I used to make, used to make rods, people don't realise this. Um, and I know a fair bit about rods, I used to build them, I used to design them, I used to put them together, be put in the oven, uh, make them from scratch from carbon sheeting. Now, what rods are we going to use? Now let's explain something, a couple of simple things. Have you ever seen a bike helmet? Now on a bike helmet has a use by date, which means that after a certain amount of time when it's been out in UV light, you have to throw the, the, the helmet away because it's not fit for purpose anymore. Fishing rods are very similar. Now a lot of people don't like to hear this, and they don't like to put it out there, but carbon poles are a food source. The only thing that stops them from degrading is by curing them with a plastic. As a result, I won't use a rod that's over three year old, because if it's a distance rod, hit into three years, it's weakened, it becomes a normal fishing rod. You lose a lot of the yardage on that. So if you've got a brand new rod, and then you've got three rods, and then you snap one in two years' time, and you've got another rod then, the third rod, your new rod, blows out before the other rods. It's just physics. You can't stop that. So what rods am I going to use? I'm not entirely sure, because carbons are all different. You're multi-directional carbon and you put different things in the carbon when you're rolling the tubing like dynema strands, um, like Kevlar. We construct rods differently and every single rod has a different purpose and you can't make a fishing rod which is 100% perfect for all situations. It can't be done. So it's trying to find a rod that's built by somebody else, I have no input in it, which I'm happy with. So which I'm happy with when you use it. Now, a lot of the cheaper rods from China are very good. And what you find some manufacturers now use a cheaper blank and sell it at a high price because it looks quite fancy. And to be perfectly honest, the performance of it works. Now one rod I was using was a 13 foot 3.5 Shimano uh, velocity rod. And that was a brilliant rod. It was a very, very brilliant rod. And it was a cheap rod, but I just happened to have snapped it. So what am I going to use? Well, I'm currently using, until I get a new set of rods, my Kevlar rods, the uh, CSG custom rods that I built um, with the, the minimalist rings on. And they can still cast okay. It's still a good rod. It's just a softer rod now. So it's a mid-distance rod. It's no longer a distance rod. And they're only two and three quarter. And I can still get the same distance for two and three quarter, 12 foot, that I could do with a 13 3.5 through technique and understanding the rod uh, and the perimeters that the rod can be used in. Now, well, that's my anal chatting about rods. I'm not getting scientific and getting flip chats out about rods because there's no point. So 
what rods am I going to use? I don't know. I'll have a look. Take more time to have a look at it. I might have some by next week. We'll, we'll see. I might have. I might get involved in designing some rods for somebody at some point. Depends whether we have time, the inclination, whether we get on or not. What do we do? Comment below. Press that bell button. Smash that uh, like, and make sure keep in contact with us by commenting below about what your thoughts are and don't just get drawn into uh, putting a comment below on rods because you're sponsored by a rod company just put a comment below because I want it from your heart and what your thoughts are and your experiences of the rods and what you find and customer service is very important as well let's be perfectly honest customer service is everything Yo, do me a favor. What? Accidentally step on your white sunglasses. <laughs> we don't wear those over here. This is hip hop. That's right. This is Carhartt jackets. Yeah. Timberland boots unlaced. Yeah, cool. This is champion hoodies. Chicken wings and French fries. Man. R.I.P. pieces on the handball court. You see? This is us still fighting police brutality. This is hip hop. I ain't trying to bring New York back. I'm just a breath of fresh air. That good old New York rap. Slick talk to the track. Come on, who brought that to the game? Uh, Graffiti all on the train. Get up your name. I don't feel how I used to feel. I'm in my 20s, so a new Nars joint used to give me the chill. In the barbershop. Well, it's night time. Rods are out. Everything's set. And I have to admit, I need an early night tonight. It's currently 7 o'clock. I've just finished my tea, making a cup of tea. Drink a tea. And I'm going to give that another go. The air bomb. Tomorrow. Now, I was all right tonight because I used just a normal dot spawn. And the reason why I use that is because it's about the best one out there. The Nash one. It is the best one out there. When you want the, the bait to land on the spot and open immediately. But when it's windy, and if the wind does pick up tomorrow, I'll be using that because I can cast it past. And if it's not on the spot, I can reel it back in again. Because when you strike this, it means you can drop the bait. So I haven't bought it to scatter it in the air like it's designed to do. I've designed it for it to land on the water, reel it back, and then open it where the bait needs to be. So, all right, I might get a few more casts out of it and not hit the spot, but I know every time I open it up, I'm going to have bait where it is in bad condition. So that's the reason why I brought that again. Good bit of kit, that. I have lost one already, but I'm going to get some more, I think, just in case I've only got the one now. Now, comment below and just tell me exactly what you think of these kind of things you know the dot spawn the, the Nash thing whatever it is you know the spod um, there's loads of different things out there what's your comments on that well I know what I like I've got loads of different things and I like different things all together that's what I like with my fishing now <sighs> hmm still pretty tired though I got here a bit late though, I'll explain what happened with the car. The car, the key on the car was faulty. So for some reason the car went into limp mode and I couldn't get down here until about half three, four o'clock and it goes dark at six o'clock. So I managed to get the marker out, cast out, get all the bait out um, using the, uh, the Nash stuff and then yeah I'm, I'm good to go. I put about a kilo out. Now you're going to find this really strange, I found some bait in the freezer and I don't know whose bait it is it smells like it's kind of fishy and that sounds silly but I actually haven't got a clue what bait it is because they use that many different baits um, I just thought I'd try it just thought I'd give it a go so I'll put that kilo out of that and I'm going to be fishing that on um, the basic I, I fall in love with the rig now this what's the name of it the Ronnie rig I'm going to use the Ronnie rig again Usually it's chods, chod rigs, there's loads of rigs I like to use and I've, I've been cat fishing since the end of 1970s so there's plenty of rigs can go at. I'm not an expert and I haven't met one yet but the most important thing is is uh, I'm enjoying myself and the birds are starting to come alive now. Can you hear them? They're really loud. So it's getting to that time of year where they start making little eggs, 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 little tiny eggs. It gets that time of year where they start making eggs, little chucky eggs. Can't eat them. Might have someone have for breakfast in the morning though. Who knows? Right, um, time to brew up. Make that uh, that drink of tea and chill out. I'll wait for the alarms to go because I'm thoroughly, thoroughly 
Somebody's walking down the bank towards the swim. Top little guy, well, it's taller than me to be perfectly honest. Um, let's see who it is. Just, just, just a, a guy we've seen on here loads of times. He's a nice guy. Let's see. Vlog number thirteen. This is Tez. So it's my bit of fun. This. Sorry, Tez comes fishing on there. I'm Gailey all the time, this is his mate here. You all right? Hi, I'm Gav, this is Tez. Gaz, Tez. Hello right. viewers. How many fish you got, Tez? None, what? lost <laughs> two. <laughs> lost two, one tench. Uh, so they're enjoying themselves, and listen, it's a bit on top, but they're just passing, they want to be in the video, so hell, why not, eh? Why not? So, sorry, Carp King, watch his channel, I'll put a link down there, that's what he does. Welcome to the vlog. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Stop, See you later, lads. See you later. See you. <laughs> So Tez, it's good to see you. Tez is in the video. So uh, yeah, and his friend, Tez and friend. Right, guys, always go fishing together, holding hands, pushing the trolleys side by side, like little brothers. Two little boys have two little toys. You get the idea, don't you? Look at me, I'm civilized. God, got a, a washing bowl all things do the pots that's Rick's in it as well I'm um, one of the junior socials today with Prince Albert a young lad of one of these pop-up bowls and it's designed for doing the pots so why wouldn't you use it to do the pots all the gear no idea but I'm asked to do the pots I'm well trained at doing the pots but this is kind of handy this a washing bowl. Some might say and bring in the kitchen sink. Some might be right. My little washing bowl. Love my washing bowl. <laughs> oh, comment below, like and subscribe, press that bell button, do your own pots. Poundland, sequins. Very curly that in it, but it's like kind of does the job. Was it a pound or something like that? About a pound. <laughs> oh man, I got a sequin washing up bowl thing. And this folds up look as well look. But but and guess what it comes into next? What, guess what, it's not green, it's not bivy like stuff, but it becomes it's still wet because it's been in the pots. It becomes a, a table, a rig making table as well. So not only can you do your pots and have a wash and have a shave or whatever it is, because it's a bivy table. Yes! Winning at life! Uh, maybe not the right colour. So the conditions are still super bright, incredibly bright, the white balance is off the scale, can't get the ISO right, and if it's that bright it must be impacting the fishing, because it must be. I've not seen anything come to the surface. Um, it's, it's really cold wind. It's, the reason why I've not done any vlogs for the last two weeks is because one, I've had things need sorting out at home, but also I've had storms and bad wind and it's really windy now, extremely windy. But it's a cold wind, it's not even a warm wind. It's like beginning of spring and it's like, it's just as cold as it will be in the middle of winter to be perfectly honest. Oh, at least I've tried the new washing thing, the thing that you do washing with, washing bowl. Um, I've used my rods again, I've not used them in years, so that's a good bonus, that's a happy days. And what I'm going to do next is uh, troll the internet and see what, there are some rods coming out to me, I'll have a look at them and see what they're like when they actually get a chance. And I'll get some fishing done again next weekend. I think I'll do 48 hours next week, so it'll be a longer, a longer vlog. Hopefully, if everything goes well. Hey ho! Not sure where I'm going though for that long session. 
plenty of food, drink, sugar, tea, milk, you get the idea, my wash bowl. So comment below, like, subscribe, press that bell button, smash that bell button, and hopefully I'll get a fish. Hopefully. Thanks for watching the vlog. It's a pleasure to see you again. I really mean that. I appreciate it. See you again. See you later.